Hello people, this is Scott Woods, the freight broker trainer. I own Transportation Training Group, and I also own Equipment Expeditors. That used to be my trucking company. I sold my equipment a few years back. Now all I have are pilot cars and also a freight forwarding company and brokerage under that name. But what we're going to talk about in this little quick video is freight rate negotiations with the carrier, with the shipper. And the reason I'm doing this is what preempted me is for a couple reasons. I, I got a phone call earlier this morning for one of our pilot cars. And basically what happened was a pilot car did not show up for a load. And the guy who called me is a customer, you know, he's a customer of mine. And I said, well, why didn't you just call me in the first place, Jeff? And he's like, well, I was trying to save a little money. You know, I was saving about 75 bucks and it was a short little run. It was only from Peoria, Illinois to the Iowa line, like 95 miles. You know, and for that, I charge for our pilot cars for what is called a chase car. I charge 575 bucks. I charge a day rate. All right. And he found a car to do it for less but this car didn't show up all right now i've been working with this guy for i don't know eight nine years you know we always show up we always if you will deliver there's i don't care if it's we're going to deadhead 500 miles for a load if you're paying us we're going to be there all right but anyway that was one reason that preempted me to make this video the second reason I was reading on Facebook today and a lot of these groups that deal with brokering freight and trucking and things like that. And well, of course, trucks are griping about fuel prices like everybody else in America. I'm griping about fuel prices and it doesn't even matter about for the pilot cars, it's just I, they're high, you know? And I mean, but then, you know, the broker agents are getting on there, the brokers and the broker agents are getting on there. And, you know, basically they're saying, we're not making any money or whatever. We're barely making $100 a load. And well, whether that's bullshit or not, who knows? I mean, I can tell you right now, if they're only making $100 a load on the freight that they broker, A, the brokerage they work for sucks. And if they own the brokerage, they're an idiot. All right. I mean, when you're negotiating freight rates, and let's just talk about the broker side first off. All right. If you're an agent for a brokerage, and they're a brokerage worth their salt, they're gonna take the first 50 to $75. That's what the brokerage is gonna make, no matter if you make any money on the load whatsoever, just to do the paperwork, they're gonna make 50, 75 bucks a load, and that's when your split comes in after that, all right? Now, for a lot of these small brokerages that don't know what the hell they're doing, you know, they might just say, okay, we're gonna split the profits on your load grosses 50-50, you know? on the profits. Well, that's all fine and good. All right. Well, this is the time. If you're brokering freight, you're going to find out what kind of broker you're going to be because you're either going to starve or you'll make some money. All right. Now fuel, when fuel gets high, you know, trucks are going to rightfully start griping, like, especially, and I'll use the produce haulers. All right. Basically, if you're doing like a lot of you new broker agents, are doing you're doing onions and potatoes and the watermelons are starting to come out and the peppers in new mexico and you're doing that type of stuff all right so a lot of the stuff you're doing is weighted freight you know they're paying you by the hundred weight they're paying you by the bag by the box you know things of that nature excuse me i'm looking in my rear view mirror because as you can tell i am driving you know, when I come up with these ideas, I like to put them to video right away. All right. Well, when you're doing that, when you're moving weighted freight, especially when they're paying you like 1350 a hundred weight or so much a 50 weight, for every quarter you make, you're only making on most loads, 105, 110 bucks. All right. So you figure if, and I'll just use, if he's gonna pay you, $10.25 and you offered to that truck for 10 bucks a hundred, you're gonna make about $125. Look, people, if you're that stupid, you know, 
that you're only going to make $125 with all the risk associated with maybe that shipper isn't going to pay. Maybe that shipper is going to pay late. I mean, there's money involved in getting these shippers doing a, cre a good credit check on them. You know, if you're waiting on your money, you're losing money. I mean, it's a whole conundrum. So you got to make money on the freight. You know, on any load, you better be making at least 500 bucks on anything. You know, with the exception of a pallet, you know. I mean, I move a couple pallets, I'm going to make two, three hundred dollars. All right. And that's just how it is. Or it ain't, it's not worth your time. Okay. Trucks that are moving that, and I'm going to continue to use produce. All right. These guys right now are going to want to move light loads. They don't care about, you know, your customer saying load to capacity, you know, so. In a dream world, he's going to get a truck that's going to roll into Ontario, Oregon and get some of those damn onions, and he's going to load 46,000 pounds, and that's a dream for you brokers, too. No, they don't want those loads that are going to haul that, all right, because of the price of fuel, especially out on the West Coast, where it's well above $6 a gallon already. They want light loads. They're going to want to run forty to 42,000 pounds, so it's not going to suck up fuel all the way. You know, and this is what I mean by you're going to learn how to negotiate and find out what kind of a broker agent that you are. I mean, if you're broker in heavy haul, you know, basically, I'll give you a load that we just ran this Cat 797 from Phoenix up to Seattle. And this thing, you know, the weight of that load was 250,000 pounds with all the crawls and things of that, that nature. That truck was getting 1.5 miles to the gallon. All right. Now, that was only a couple weeks ago, and fuel was high, you know, but it's higher now. You know, when you're doing this, A, as a broker or a truck, there needs to be a fuel surcharge on all your dedicated lanes, and you should have planned ahead of time for this anyway, okay, when the fuel spikes as it is now. Some trucks know about this, some trucks don't, you know. It really depends on how long you've been in the industry and what your educational, you know, experiences with things in the industry you know when you're dealing with spot market freight you're not going to get a fuel surcharge okay the broker is going to give you a flat rate and say here it is all right and basically you either take it or leave it you know well and i'm going to get to that real quick in a second but i was watching those as i said those facebook groups this morning and they were griping about the rates but also these trucks that are out there and they're small trucking company guys they're most of them are running drive and freight a lot of them are running these box trucks who in their who in their right mind buys a damn straight truck it's beyond me the only time they're going to make money is in the last 18 months because they'll be selling them real soon there's going to be a lot of equipment for sale real soon see what's happening another gripe that was going on in these social media groups like on facebook you know, basically, he was talking about he's buying more equipment, he's buying more equipment, you know. But in the same conversation, these other guys are talking about, you know, fuel is five fifty six dollars a gallon and rates are going down. Well, why are rates going down? Well, this is where they blame the broker. Well, if you got a broker, it's worth the salt. The rates ain't going down. Okay, it's in our best interest to keep the rates higher, all right? What's happening is, in that circumstance, capacity is coming back. We have been in a capacity crunch for the last 18 months. Couldn't get trucks, because you, for one reason or another. You know, basically, COVID, blame it on that. You know, I'll be like Joe Biden. Well, it's COVID, or it's Putin. That's why the gas prices, no, it's your economy, dude. You're an idiot, all right? Look, when capacity comes back, and there's more trucks, the rates drop, all right? And this goes directly into freight rate negotiation. You know, these guys that are driving these dry vans right now, and some of these guys pulling these reefers, want $5 a mile. Kiss my ass, you know, A, am I gonna make it a win-win for them? Yes, and it's going to be a win-win-win. My shipper wins, I win, they win. If it's not a win-win for everybody, it's not worth even doing the deal, all right? Your truck's got to make money, number one. But I have an old saying, 
that I use for my agents. Pigs get fed, hogs get eaten. Well, you're about to get see a bunch of hogs get eaten. These guys that have been jamming these rates down the broker's throat, jamming these rates down their direct shippers' throats over the last 18 months. Well, when capacity comes back, and if, you know, the old saying, a squirrel finds a nut sometimes, when Biden finally comes to his senses and gets the oil pumping again, and the fuel starts to go down, the rates, everything's going to drop. Because freight is a commodity. It's like gold, it's like silver, and it's even like crypto. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, these people that have leveraged themselves in the trucking company side, these people that have leveraged themselves by buying all this new equipment, well, I got news for you. Once those rates start to drop and they're not getting that four fifty and $5 a mile anymore for a regular drive-in load, a 40,000-pound drive-in load, Guess what? Go to your local Richie Brothers auction. You're going to get some shit cheap. I mean, you're, and you're, when I say this, right hand of God, man, I got a, I got a truck. It was two years old. All right, this thing only had like 100,000 miles on it. I got it for nine grand on an online auction. He didn't even put it on a good auction. This guy still owed like $45,000 on this truck. And he had to sell it because... He submitted the title to the online auction and stuff like that. Well, you'll see a lot of this equipment going for dirt cheap prices, you know, once this little crunch is over. We're coming out of it. All only thing we gotta beat now is get the gas prices back down. But getting back to the freight rate negotiations, you know, you're gonna learn to negotiate with the shipper to get him up in price. All right to get that truck down in price. And there's a naturally combative situation with the truck and a broker. Every truck thinks a broker's a thief. And the majority of most brokers or agents don't have a clue what the truck goes through. Whether, you know, if he's pulling like uh, a step deck, he might be in Williston, North Dakota in freaking January, chaining down and tarping a load for two and a half hours and it's 25 degrees below zero. Well, you can bet your sweet ass, I'd want to get paid for that, you know? I mean, just like I was telling you before we started this video, you know, when my buddy called the other guy first, he didn't show up, he knew I was gonna charge him 575 bucks. We're only going 90 miles. <coughs> you know, I was out there on my deck at my house drinking coffee with my wife. People. Everybody's got to win or it ain't a good deal, all right? If you're not making any money on the freight, you broker agents, you better learn your job. Or you're going to be, um, <laughs> you're going to be like that little guy, Oliver Twist. More, sir, with the oatmeal bowl, if you ever had to suffer through that movie as a child, you know? Guys, if you want to learn how to do this job correctly as far as the broker side, Learn how to structure your brokers correctly. Learn how to have your agents moving profitable freight. Jump in one of my classes. You'll be making more money within 30 days, I guarantee it. My website's FreightBrokerTrainer.com. FreightBrokerTrainer.com. Phone number's 888-854-6270. That's 888-854-6270. Thank you, and have a great day.